there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. So what is in your blood? Well, if I were to take your blood, put it into a tube and then spin that tube really quickly into a centrifuge, three layers are going to present themselves. Go from top to bottom, these three layers include the blood plasma, the buffy coat, and the red blood cells. And they separate themselves out according to their density, how heavy they are. So obviously the heavy red blood cells at the bottom, then the lighter components here, and then the lightest components at the top. Now, if we were to have a look, you'd find that the blood plasma makes up most of your blood, about 55% of your blood is blood plasma, and it has this yellowy transparent look to it. And there's three major things in blood plasma. These are water, which actually makes up around about 92% of your blood plasma. So what that means is, if most of your blood is plasma, and most of your plasma is water, Therefore, most of your blood is water. All right, what else is in this blood plasma? Well, we've also got other components like proteins, for example. And around about 7% of our plasma is proteins. And there's a couple of different types of proteins that you probably should be aware of. First of which, there's proteins that are carrier proteins. And carrier proteins, they can carry drugs, they can carry fats, they can carry hormones, they can carry a multitude of things. These include albumin, for example, probably the most abundant carrier protein. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.